What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off where we left off, I captured Turin and the Genoans have sided together a force and retaken it, but fortunately this battle also draws in lots of their surrounding forces, such as this one in their port and also some of these Savoyan um, units you can see down here in the southwest. So a pretty weak artillery in general unit. And then if meh, it's still a pretty weak stack. To be honest, the whole lot, this whole army's pretty weak. Um, so while mine's depleted, I think I might be okay. Because I'm attacking a city, but we'll find out. The bulk of my effort will be using uh, kill and rout their units as they enter the well, as they get near the near the fort. Pretty standard procedure. But mainly because I don't have full units on the walls, I'm gonna not really want them to climb up. Because if they swarm a certain area and stick to it, then I could be in really big trouble. Like, even though, you know, their units are weaker, um, mine are pretty weak too. The enemy will try to... Cool. Yeah, they're trying to get in, we know that. Okay, so let's put... Aha! Let's put... Dump my cavalry outside. There's so many armies around, they might be good for artillery sniping. So let's put my weak units inside some of these buildings. Then let's do something fairly normal. So they're from that side and that side. Mm, so much done plugged and plugged back in. Hope it wasn't important. Uh, I'll keep my... Uh, put one of my grenadiers up here. But yeah, deploy them up like this and just be ready to redeploy them. And that also leaves me... These two ready to fill gaps and this grenadier unit so it's not bad okay so put my howitzers close just to keep firing quick line my 24 pounders there well actually more like there because i want to be a bit more flexible so let's get these out of the way and those there Put my how put my foot artillery just somewhere because they're currently just taking up space, and then Mon General. Sweet. Ah. Okay. So where's their twelve pounder howitzers? They need taking out, taking out. Ah, uh -huh, that, that Savoyan. Run my cavalry out to take out their general, and I'd also, if they all keep going that way, that I'd like to bring them around here to start hitting their artillery. Because they got howitzers, I would, f I fear for the use of quick lime shot. Excellent artillery cannon shot there. To be honest, I suppose I better use my howitzers to focus fire one battery at a time. So let's go for. Oh no, just keep them firing separately. I want to keep my cavalry together because there's not that many of them. Like they're not two full units, so. Come on, kill him! It's just a bloke on a horse. He's right in the middle of all of you. There you go. I go knock out their artillery. My mortars firing. Yeah, they're firing now. Yeah, see, they've got quick line coming in from their howitzers. Ooh, that's that looked like a good shot. Let me destroy one of their gun teams. Fortunately, it doesn't mean this gun is exceptionally well crewed, so we'd effectively need to destroy the uh, the gun. We'll just knock it out.
Anyway, let's bring my cavalry back. Hopefully these guys will do the work. These, there you go, the first, the probably the first, but the first of many quick climb shots. Good. There you go, decimated the garrison guard regiment. Good stuff. Some carabiners are riding out to the side. Hopefully they can get, be engaged by my regiment of foot. Can you be quick climbed? No, you're out of range. Let's get them both to, to hit, hit one unit. Focus on this unit. Yeah, it's a quick climb shot, but it failed. Carabiners, and that's about it. So ultimately, I want to want to book it over here before they got some dragoons. They can get involved. Some generals' bodyguard. Beautiful. So let's get my houses to work on. I'll make them quick climb and try hit some of these forces that might come in to support. Because they've engaged the carabiners, the horse guards hopefully can get in on the artillery. Come on mortars, get firing. The focus will be just to make them rout. Killing them would be ideal, but if I can't get it, which I think I will. Good. Go into the next artillery unit. So what's that? 39 troops, horses versus 38 regiment of horse. I still like my odds there. Dragoons are charging in. Hit that horse. Poor artillery. I'll hit that guy as he's on his lonesome. Good. Dragoons are going to charge in on the foot, which might cause some problems, but nothing too disastrous. Oh. Let's get my guys firing quicklime shots onto, just onto their enemies, I suppose. Good, now I can safely deploy my breaching troops. Uh, did I have a Grenadier unit down here? No, I did. Fill up this gap. Get them to hit the Dragoons. Oh no, run run into this combat because they've got one unit of Crassiers and they will chop their way through all of these regiments of horse. But if I can charge them in the rear with these Crassiers, it will help thin their numbers somewhat. At the very least, it's help with it's help eliminate the threat posed from those artillery teams. There is artillery right at the back of the field over here, but they're way too far away. Good, and they are howitzers, so they're probably going to hit the ground about here. Oh yeah, there you go, that's where the shots are falling, so I don't need to worry about them. Yeah. My artillery is broken, or will is, is breaking. I can accept that. They've done mighty damage. 
and they've managed to knock out the artillery, which is what I was most bothered about. The cavalry doesn't concern me. Well, they are still sticking it out. They're wavering. Ooh, that was a lovely shot. The cannons from the fort that are they're, they're engaging them. But they finally left. Finally routed. It's nice those dragoons to shoot some of their own men in the back. Well, that is an excellent shot. Look at that for danger close. Just missing the wall. Just keep engaging. Clear them away from the wall. Come on, engage something. Yeah, they can something in something inside their arc of fire, but they can't actually shoot at it. Where's he going? Sp he's he is sprinting like a madman. Okay, let's just stop it. And then turn on fire at will again. All of my artillery is just... Nope, my mortars are still going. Just have them engage whoever they want, I suppose. Make sure I garrison the, the, uh, the gate. Oh, wow. That's a close one. Oh... Yep, killed my own men. <laughs> More of my own men. What? Okay, well, General, engage them then. It must be because that artilleryman was trying to run out of the gate. For some weird reason. this guy he just wants to charge everyone there you go so now they're trying to engage hopefully that foot infantry unit there we go excellent shot but yes what I'm tempted to do now is speed up because effectively the AI doesn't they're not actually like attacking, really. Like they're just doing some spoiling attacks. I don't know where they're trying to go. Oh, yeah, someone did set up some ropes up here then. But yes, the AI is not really in a position to actually conduct attacks. Which I'm happy with. It just means my mortars get more time to chew them up. Okay, they, can these guys, are these guys actually firing anything? First gun. Well, you're bugged out. These mortars firing. of our caravan as coming back we're retreating but anyway what i might do guys um is i'll make a note of the time which is roughly 15 minutes ish and i'm probably gonna bring you guys back at the end of the battle because they've got only a quarter of the battle's gone and i don't see them attacking like i'm getting in and i don't see them committing all of this stuff to rout so i'm in for a bit of a slog so what i'm gonna do is pause the recording here and then i'll get back to you so see you guys in a minute well then guys that's the end of the battle and it got so 
boring. I effectively just switched my mortars all to round shot, and I got some more experience on my heavy howitzers, which is nice. But yes, thankfully it's a good victory for us. The thing if the AI knows that its units are really depleted, then it doesn't want to throw them in all together, because then if one routes, then it starts a chain route. And holy moly, that's an exchange ratio I very much like. So that's all them routing, falling back, fleeing from the Genoan capital. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Absolutely, you can lay siege to that region. Absolutely do that. Gives me a bit more time to get my stuff back in order. <laughs> it allows me a bit more, a bit of a chance to get some recruitment on the go and, you know, just good stuff. So what might be a strategic requirement is right now I'm, I'm gathering those forces for an attack to the north. But what might be more worthwhile, I think, is knocking out Spain. Because if we knock out Spain, then our adventures in the Americas get significantly easier because it's just a bunch of pirates rather than Spanish colonials. Mm, uh, the Marathas are getting involved. Yeah, they're still running around Morocco. I'm more than happy for those stacks to run around in Morocco because they're doing absolutely nothing. Morocco's garrisoned. If they want to try it, they can try it. Hmm. Oh, hello. They're attacking a fleet. Oh, poor buggers. I'm not going to fight that. I'm going to gun it. But we captured one of their ships? Or did they capture one of ours? Disaster. Oh well. These things happen. As long as they fall back into a port, that would be nice. Mm, that could work. See if the Savoys will chase them down. Ah! That's fair enough, because if, if they stay there, which they probably won't... <laughs> Yeah, see, they could have cut my troops off, but they have decided to leave the strait. Ah, oh, Poland, why have you got to be such a pain now? That's right, Russia, go in. Lay siege to their capital. So we've got Russia. God, now Russia's going to take forever to move. figure out what they're doing. If they did, if they did capture Warsaw, that'd be handy, and the Poland would disappear. It'd be frustrating because it'd be well, I say frustrating. Ultimately, we got um, ownership. It's under. So they're spreading Orthodox religion to my area. You swines. You're not gonna keep, you're not gonna get away with this. Persians are still gonna do what Persians do. But yeah, I'm happy for them to be just being a pain back there. Yes, all the Spanish fall back to Madrid. Then I can easily hop in. Ah, they're trying to steal my technology, but there's no technology to steal. Ooh, Milan is ripe for the taking. I'm defending against the Slav rebels, and it's a 50-50, allegedly. <laughs> the armed peasants, and I've got regular troops and artillery. Late game artillery as well. <laughs> yes, so I think if, yeah, if I could... Spain, the Americas will fall. That effectively all, the, the, all what the Americas can focus on is generating forces for India. That's what they'll be focusing on. Need to declare on the French yet. I will, but I don't need to. Deploy my guns up on the front line. Yeah, it's not, it's not, many, not many brilliant hills to deploy on. Why don't you stay like that for now, actually? 
because I'm thinking about thinking I might walk them up and curl them around a bit. Keep the fire round shot. Okay. So rotate. No, actually they can stay where they are. There are forces everywhere. But I still might want to do that. And to be honest, all of you can just do that. To be honest, some of you might even go in to try and attack the fort, because what have they got realistically? Provincial line? Don't know who they're targeting. Let's speed up a bit. Because the AI is in that frustrating period where it doesn't know what it wants to do. Limber up and limber. And limber. Then just effectively spend your time blowing a hole in that wall. Yeah, keep firing the mercenaries, I suppose. Can you shrapnel shot them? Yes, you can. That might entice them to move. Oh god, that was an excellent shot. I might go normal speed now. Yes, yeah, so if I can blow a hole in the wall with these guys. Yeah, I was going to try to bloody them up a bit, but... Quicklime is just so damn effective. I'm going to speed up a bit. Come on, target. Target the fort. If you can make a hole in there, then I'll attack it on that flank. Oh, nuts to this. to do that. Let's get one up there, one up there, one up there. Let's hold fire on that. Limber up there. Maybe all four of you fill in that gap. my crash to desktop problem but clearly not god knows what the hell is doing it no you guys haven't, won't have time we're going to do this instead the irregulars are going to go up there and my infantry are going to go there and my militia are going to go there to ambush them as they leave the gate. Whereas like this, you will be fired upon. A nice little corridor for the artillery to do their damage. Shot to bits. Let's 
spin you around and do that. So when they come out of this gate... Oh, that's what the quick climbs had at them. Well, in which case then... Advance you there. Let's advance this line of intersection into the wall. Up the wall. Let's get ready to push through the centre with my line infantry. Let's halt this artillery fire because it's going to be a bit of you worthless. If they rushed, they could get into the combat, but I don't think they will. Set up into positions to provide fire. To be honest, actually just do this. Not that, that. Very deep lines, minimal firepower, but ultimately it's just not needed. Charge the provincial line. Firing. Now they're ready. Here comes the artillery. Let's pick these guys to assault them. You assault them. How it says stop firing, cease fire. There we go, we're destroying the, the line, the uh, line infantry. Yeah, you can't, you can't match the American firepower. The general's still back here, so I need to take him out. I think I'm just going to get a unit of infantry to climb the walls. To be honest, I think I'm going to get them all to climb 
a wall. So if they climb anywhere, they can fire onto these units. Oh, this has gone badly for them. trying to escape at the walls if I were you. There's three full regiments of British infantry, American infantry ready to meet you, with a further one making its way around the top. Let's speed this up a bit now, because this is soon to be a foregone conclusion. Yeah, that infantry unit's routed. I'm about to make ready and present and effectively... Ooh, they've come back. Spin this unit around. But we're about to destroy their general. Yes. And let's make all of these guys charge the provincial. Yeah. <laughs> Full on bayonet charge was enough to make them flee the field. And we have one. Another region. Hegemony? Hegemony? One of the two. Sweet. So Laval. Rioting has broken out in Alliance this region broke as the between Poland and unhappy. Prussia. You must either appease the rioters by lowering. Yeah, they've calmed down. It's a good thing about the Prussians, they're currently spreading my religion. And I like that. At the ready. Replenish, replenish, replenish. Can this army in Prague leave yet? Or can this army in Dresden leave? Man. They can. Chase down this Polish pretender. Glorious victory. You ask too much. Ready and awaiting order. And then they send this army here. Forward. Forward. Anything more? Chat school, upgrade to College of Divinity, Heroic Death. Oh, this is all this shenanigans going on here. They were just going to go take out that last unit of sharpshooters. And then like like that, straight back. No idea what the garrison's like. So, if I can, I'd like to run around this side. Yes. Yeah, semi-decent garrison. Maintain siege. Can I move you guys out? Any further orders? I can. Well, even even if I tax you, I can do Sir. that. Prepare the troops for battle. So let's take Settlement four Onward. defeated four knackered units and replace them with four fresh. Forward. March. Let's take away you and you. So there's two more units need to be... Oh no, don't do that. You go in there. And there's no one else really in there that's completely knackered. They've got two artillery pieces, which isn't as many, so I'd like to... If I took away this weaker unit of Pennsylvania Light Infantry and replaced it with a 24 pounder howitzer, I'd be happier. Sir. And these guys replenish away in res in support. Probably, no, I don't need them to build anything fresh. Replenish. Okay, what do you need? Looks like you're short an infantry Ready unit. So request one from this unit. It looks oh. like this army looks like it's pretty. Sort of a sweepings the... up army. Move you to the bridge. Yes. To be honest, move you to go hit Milan. Oh wow, that could be interesting. It will bring that 
Juno and Gar Garrison into battle. Let's maintain siege. You can run out to here. Basically, I want to try to position as much of my troops as possible, because right now, all sorts is going on. Let's move you to go hit you. Glorious victory. At the ready. Move you into Nice. Contra Divinity is still not happy. Well, they are happy, but they're not becoming Christians. So let's go recruit two sloops. Because I want to pick up this army and this army. You could do with a extra artillery unit. So just pick up a good old bog standard 12 pounder. Light sail the map and hit Reykjavik. Fleet destroyed. Yep, that's well known. Fleet destroyed, well known. Construction. Now this is replacing all of my universities. Okay, your anchor is all happy. Jerusalem's kitted out to the nines. Capital, what size you can get? Church school in Turkey. Ah, uh, yes, and you were on your way to this rebel settlement. Yeah, I quite like having Persia as a bit of a buffer. It stops Savoy from causing too much trouble because right now they're just sat there on their lonesome. Nothing's been recruited. Saxony rioted, but I fixed it. Traits, traits gained, trait gained. Okay, let's go to the Americas. It's frustrating that France took this ready, region. Very frustrating. So you replenish while you run up here. You both occupy the port at the same time, so you shouldn't get trapped. Because ultimately I do need to knock out the French. Well, when I do it, I will do it in a hammer blow and hit Corsica in one turn. Destroy this fleet, capture Corsica, and then all of their colonial holdings will crumble. In which case, if I'm sending these two up here, these two here, to go secure Iceland, then these three I might actually just keep. You got any guns or anything? No, you're not. Okay, you're going to be here as well. Because they are going to hit me at some point. I'm not sure when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Still converting, but I'm going to tax you now, because you'll get over it. You're not really doing anything, but feel free to sit there. Uh, yes, work. Industry, industry. I don't think I can move you out, can I? Waiting for your orders. No, that's not that's not quite what I meant. Well, let's leave a general behind as a sort of a governor. Let's get some artillery for this army, then I can use them to actually contribute something. Let's take this army here under Eric Fortescue. Annihilate that garrison. And secure the region for the United States Army. Powerful workshop, destroy the university. I would like to build another chapter school here and hopefully spawn priests and I'll send them throughout the region. And these two armies are eventually going to move up and start hitting Istanbul. This here is simply just to stop them from trying from being able to bypass. Bypass this fort. That is going to be a hell of a battle, that is. Yep, glacier secured. Um, but yes, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.